Oh, hey. Is that a thing you want me to say? What's up guys? Everyday iTech here and iOS 26 was officially launched to the public. So I'm curious to see what the general population of non-tech enthusiasts thinks of iOS 26. So in my last video, I talked about what to do before updating to iOS 26. So now that it's officially released, we'll be talking about what to do after updating your device to iOS 26. Let's jump right in. All right, now to start with, not only did we get iOS 26, but we also got iPad OS 26, Mac OS 26, Watch OS 26, TV OS 26, and Vision OS 26. And as you guys know, I was on the beta version of iOS 26, but now it's confirmed. If you were on the beta, you will still see the iOS 26 update available at the bottom under where it says also available. Of course, make sure to turn beta updates off to be able to see this official update and and once I tap on it, it now says update now. You can scroll through the what's new section and you guys can see this update takes 8.19 gigabytes when coming from the latest RC beta. And if you want to read about the entire change log from the iOS update itself, you can pause at any part of the video over here as I'm not going to go ahead and read through the entire thing. Now I did make a video on 40 major features in iOS 26. So if you missed that video, I'll put a link down below in the description or here in the cards. All right, now to start with, we're going to update our other Apple devices starting with watch on watch OS 26. So go to the watch app on your iPhone, scroll down over to general and then software update. And here you will see the watch OS 26 update as well. My device is already updating to watch OS 26 and it's going to bring the liquid glass experience to the Apple watch as well, which is really cool. There are also some new watch faces that can add as well. New watch face, you can tap right here and you got the flux watch face, photos, pride harmony, reflection, and this unity one as well. So to add any, just go and tap on add. You can change all the colors and everything using the dial. Check this out. It even shines and shimmers the way you hold your Apple Watch as if it's reflecting light. I'm telling you, that's not my lights or anything. It's literally just shining like that. So that's super, super cool. Aside from that, if you have AirPods, make sure to update those as well. So make sure your AirPods are inside and you do have Wi-Fi and Bluetooth enabled. After that, all you gotta do is leave your AirPods next to your iPhone. And within 30 minutes, your AirPods should just update automatically just like that. Really cool. So this includes a camera remote, charge notifications, pausing audio when you fall asleep, studio quality audio recording, enhanced voice quality, and live translation all through an update. And on Mac, I also noticed a notification saying respond to Siri by moving your head. When wearing AirPods, you can move your head up and down or side to side to respond to Siri. Absolutely crazy. And speaking of Mac, to update to Mac OS 26, open settings, general, and software update just like on an iPhone. Now, I would do the same with the home app as well to make sure all our devices are updated. So we get a splash screen, hit continue, and go ahead and explore any updates that are available over here as well for all of your home pods and home devices. On tvOS, go to settings, system, update software. And on visionOS, on the home screen, go to settings, general, software, update, just like on an iPhone as well. Okay, and now that we have the updates out of the way, what you also want to do is head over to settings, general, and once over here, tap on about. And if you do get an update for a carrier update, make sure you tap on that to update your carrier settings so that your accelerator works to the best of its abilities. But chances are, if you are in the United States, you won't get this pop up as it will have updated automatically. If you go back to the main page again, you want to scroll down to battery, scroll down until you see power mode and you guys can see there's a new option called adaptive power make sure you enable this toggle and this basically adjusts the power of your iphone and it realizes patterns and trends to see when you need more power to save you battery life over the long run while not sacrificing performance next go back to the main settings screen tap on the search type in phone and you want to scroll down to silence unknown colors so this is call screening so basically every time you get a call from an unknown color you can have it do whatever you want it to do so you'll have your own ai assistant so you can make it ask a reason for calling before actually ringing your phone or just silent it completely, which is pretty cool. And there's also call filtering so you could disable spams for being able to call you. So enable that option. And if you want, you can also enable unknown callers. So this will just appear in a separate unknown call list if it's from an unknown number. So nifty little tricks to avoid spam calls. All right. And the last thing that you want to do, and this is very important, go open up your settings application, scroll down over to sounds and haptics. We can scroll down over to ringtone. And now we do have some new ringtones in iOS 26, which is fantastic. So I don't want to hear anyone with this 
ringtone anymore, okay? I've heard this way too many times, and I never know whose iPhone is ringing. So, these are the names of all the new ringtones, little bird. Bayonet, which is under reflection. Dreamer. Holy, what the? <laughs> That's pretty dope. Pond. If I have that ringtone, I'm definitely using this wallpaper. Surge. Reflected. Wow, okay, all of these sound really, really good. Enjoy iOS 26. This is Everyday iTech. Peace.